My name is Michael Pruitt. I'm the Deputy Fire Chief of the Bargersville Fire Department in Bargersville, Indiana. So today we're going to do a walk around of our new rescue truck uh, that is an SVI body on a Suffin chassis. This has been a project that's been in the works for a couple of years now and now we're looking at the finishing pro finished product here uh, that's going to carry all of our rescue disciplines that our, our department utilizes. So we'll do a little walk around of the truck and just kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be carrying and what the mission of this truck is going to be. So one of the things uh, coming from our community, we, uh, we're doing everything from auto extrication, any type of special rescue that requires any type of extrication, uh, high angle, low angle rope rescue, tower antenna rope rescue. Uh, we're, uh, we just recently took on dive rescue, so that was another component that we added to this truck. Uh, we do grain bin rescue because we do serve a very large farming community where we come from just south of Indianapolis. And so uh, we're going to carry all our grain bin rescue. We're also uh, going to be set up to run our drones off of this truck. So we'll be uh, doing the, uh, the, the drones. Uh, we also have recently, over the past few years, uh, trained our personnel to respond as a rescue task force to support law enforcement for situations such as active assailant. And we recently supported one of those events in our community, which really brought it home to having our truck set up to allow our people to carry the gear that they need to respond to mass casualty incidents or an active assailant incident. So we'll carry that type of gear on here also with our auto extrication equipment, the dive equipment, the rope rescue equipment, um, but those will be our big items that we do carry on here for, for this type of work. And then it will have some, some fire ground support capability, but the main mission of this truck is for rescue only. So as we go through the compartments, uh, one of the very important things that we did is we had to line out what we were going to carry on the truck at first. And when you come up with a list of what you're going to carry on your truck, then you know how big the truck is going to need to be. We currently have a rescue uh, that we utilized um, that we've had for several years now, but we've outgrown that. It's a single axle. It's a little bit smaller than this uh, vehicle behind me. Uh, so now with the list of equipment created, we knew that this truck's going to be a very large truck because many times departments will build a truck and when they build it, they get it home and they realize, gosh, we've already outgrown this thing. So we want to give ourselves plenty of room to grow into over the, over the coming years because we know this truck could be with us from anywhere from 10 to 15 years. So we wanted to go through and we still have to go through and do all our equipment mounting which will happen but uh, we'll make sure that we have plenty of space to carry everything we need. But it has to be functional also, user friendly. Um, so we had to make sure that not only coming up with the list of equipment but do we have the proper places to keep the equipment and making sure our personnel can safely access that equipment from the scene and, and making it as user friendly as possible. So as I go through each one of the compartments, you can see that the compartments are set up. They're very spacious, have plenty of rollout systems. So we'll be able to carry extrication tools that will be carried in these back compartments, airbag storage. And then as we move around the back of the vehicle, uh, we'll carry a lot of our rope bags up there. The grain bin rescue equipment, which does take up quite a bit of space, uh, we'll carry that all up top also. So, but we have lots of storage space. Uh, we have storage space on the rear of the truck here. In these areas for miscellaneous tools, we've got some extra space for dive bottles to carry for our divers. More shelving space. One of the things that uh, it just the the amount of rescue equipment. The one nice thing is is we've moved towards more of an electronic technology with our rescue equipment. So now we're not necessarily carrying all the large pumps, hydraulic pumps that are gas powered. Now a lot of our tools are electric. So that allows us to utilize our space a little bit better. Even though we will maintain the ability to run gasoline powered pumps uh, with some of our tools. The nice thing about this truck is, is we, we have it set up to where everything can be accessed from both sides. So whether we got to roll it out the driver's side or the officer's side, we have the capability of doing that. And we had to decide whether we wanted a total walkthrough rescue or a partial walk-in. 
uh, we decided with the space we needed and having the ability to access the tools on both sides, we, we moved away from the walkthrough uh, concept and just went to a partial walk into we'll get to here in a second. But as you can see, there is plenty of space on this vehicle for everything that we're going to carry. Then we'll move inside to the back of the cab here. This space in the back of the vehicle is for our divers, and this is where the divers will be able to get dressed. Over here we have an area set up where the divers will keep their equipment. They can get suited up back here so they're ready to deploy when they arrive on the scene of any type of dive rescue incident. We'll also be able to store all of our drone equipment back here. We made sure that we had the ability to plug our battery charging systems in so that we have those ready to go whenever we need those. So plenty of storage for all the water rescue equipment back here in this, in this space. We'll also have these two seats right here that will also be set up with SCBAs uh, that can be used from a from structural firefighting standpoint or any other type of rescue where we might have to utilize our SCBAs. We use every corner of this truck to put storage space. And, you know, when you're talking about a rescue truck, you're talking about a toolbox. And you got to have space for the tools. And so it's very important that we took up and did every bit of, uh, or used every bit of space we could to accomplish that. And I think we've done that. And they've done a very nice job with the work and putting it all together. So the Bargersville Fire Department and our community are very excited about getting this truck home and putting it in service so that... Uh, we can start responding and providing the services uh, that we have back home that we've been long waiting to get a vehicle this big to be able to carry all the resources to emergency incidents. So very excited about getting this truck back to Indiana.